Alrighty guys, we're back. Sorry about that. I uh, thought I heard someone at my door, but uh, anyway. Uh, oh, he ran over his metal. He ran over his metal, Zoe? Oh, okay. Well, I guess we will uh, let's see here. Hmm, Power of Kaishin. Let's just play that. right here and it looks like I might have to retreat here as far as uh oh wait 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 actually let's attack this first like I wanted to oh it's a magic card what was that oh limiter Ooh. <laughs> okay I'm glad we got rid of that uh well that being said I don't think Kairi Ishii needs to control this half, so we can start moving this one back. Uh, we might have to retreat, you know, snake our way this way. Retreat into the water. Uh, and kind of bait him to attack, so... Hmm. That's honestly a good plan, so... Yeah, he should move forward, though. Let's, uh... We've got time, we've got time. Alright, let's end the turn. Uh, oh, and he didn't summon anything else. Interesting. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, that's just as good as plan as any, so let's... He's closer to this, so... Um, let's move Kairishin right here. Let's, uh, let's move off, uh, Giant Red Sea Snake right here. Let's move Kairishin right here to that corner. And uh, hopefully we can convince him to follow us, our deck leader. We should be able to. I mean, normally that's what the AI does. But, uh... Oh, now he's summoning. Okay. I guess he had too many summoning stars. Okay. Very good, very good. Okay. So now we'll move right here. Yeah, and hopefully he'll move here and then here. And then, like, once he moves on to this water square, I can move two with a uh, sea snake. Uh, you know what? Let me go ahead and power up sea snake while we're here. There we go. Mm -hmm. Cause that might give us enough damage for the ending blow. So, um, okay. I think we're good. Maybe I should move Maiden of the Aqua. to the, you know what, just to be safe, I will. I still have time, I still have time, so. Okay. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Pete, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't like to see that, but, hmm. At the same time, that could have been worse. I mean, he could have used that on his metal Zoa, right? So, okay. So now we're here. All right, and honestly, I'm willing to take the hit since I'm here on water. Oh, we got Aki here on. I, I just, I just noticed that. Um, okay. Well, let's uh, let's move Kairushin here. Let's fuse with Akihira. There we go. That's kind of what I've been waiting on. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's move here. Maybe he'll come in and attack anyway. If he doesn't come this way, then I'll move my leader and I'll, I'll just take the hit. Because I don't really mind. What's he going to do? Right. I mean, with that, I don't mind. Yes, he did. Okay, good. 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 All right. Okay, and we can switch our Maiden of the Aqua just in time to power this up. And 3600, yeah, that might do enough damage. Ooh, Launcher Spider-Man. He just so happened to have a really powerful uh, machine out here. All right. So yeah, that's definitely not gonna end. Holy crap, yeah. <laughs> 2800 while well, it's in the, uh, on the sea terrain is, uh, honestly, that's kind of impressive, Keith. I'm impressed. Color me impressed. Yeah. Nice. All right. 
I must have used some other kind of power-up card along with uh, along with that. Huh? Uh, let's move here. Okay, next turn I'll move Bane of the Aqua out of the way, and we'll start moving Aqua Dragon toward his uh, leader there. So, okay. It's so weird. He keeps summoning to the left. Uh, he's leaving his right side completely open for some odd reason. Dude, why do you keep doing that? Who am I to question the AI, right? Uh, let's see. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, let's move main of the Aqua out of the way. Okay. And we'll get ready to go for Aqua Dragon. Maybe we can bait him again. Let's just move uh, the Sea Snake back to its first spot. And then, uh, yeah, I'll try to bait this one to come this way. Okay. Although he may be too scared of Aqua Dragon. So. The good news is, too. Um, okay, okay. I was gonna say, there's only like one monster he has left that has powered up from limiter removal. I think it's this one is still powered up. Um, everything else is not, so that's good. Uh, okay, do I want to move Kairushin out and then move Maiden of the Aqua in? I think so, yeah. I think that's a good plan. Uh, until I draw another Akihiron or something. Alright. Here, move Keith. Uh, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Is he going to run over his cards again? No. Okay. Yes, yes, wow. I guess we can look at all the stuff he's been throwing away. That's really weird. I mean, I guess you can run Keith out of cards if you can make him uh, somehow keep doing this. Last juggler. Oh, wow, you got rid of this. That's a good effect, my guy. Wow, and he got rid of this. This powers up all his other machines. And this infinitely responds, so... Jeez, Keith, I don't know what you're doing there, buddy. That, that didn't make a lot of sense to me. All right, tell you what, just in case Aqua Dragon somehow gets beaten, um, we'll move our leader right here and put, because uh, it will change it to C, so we'll put uh, Giant Red Sea Snake as a backup. Uh, Kairushin can go here, and uh, yeah, your effect is now on. Yeah, 20, 3600. Okay, Keith. Alright, what do you got, buddy? You gonna attack? Pendulum Machine, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. It did have 2800 attack, though, 2850, so... Yeah, he definitely used uh, Lemon Removal on this one. Or some other kind of power-up, so... Spinning Blade attack, huh? Did you, did you know I have metal resistant armor, see? <laughs> Alright. Shut down. Psychic Kappa survived all these turns over here. Just chilling, chilling in defense mode. That's funny. Uh, yeah, just uh, call out a turn. All right, Bandit Keith. You gonna run over your own cards again, buddy? Oh my god. Well, at least he's giving us a lot of stuff in the graveyard slot, right? I mean, I guess that's the upside, huh? Hologra. Okay, we win. <laughs> We've seen Hologra a couple times. No reason to show this one. So, <laughs> and that double is weird. He just he just kept sending his own cards in the graveyard. Oh my god! All right. Well, there's going to be a lot of cards in the graveyard slot. So, all right. Let's try to win something good here. Hmm. Nice, Giant Red Sea Snake. Good for you, buddy. 
Alright. Ooh, yeah, he's got Metamorph and Zoa. I guess I'll try to win those cards. Those are pretty, sometimes he doesn't always fuse into those, so. Alright, let's try. That was a good standalone, so maybe I'll go for that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I missed about one. Okay. Oh, there's two uh, mechanical spiders in here. Maybe I should go for a three in a row, but nah. I prefer to try for Zoa. Doesn't matter if we get it or not. But, uh. Wait, where is Zoa? Where is it? Uh, oh, I see it. I see it now. Okay. Darn, I missed it by a lot. Uh, gatekeeper. Alright, Zoa, where are you? There you are. Got it. Sweet. Man, I was so close to getting two spiders, too. Alright, well, we got a very good card there. Zoa. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Bandicoot. Alright, and I'll show you guys that card here, just for, you know, just to show you guys I got it. Yeah. So, uh, 45 deck costs in this game, 7 stars, 2600 attack, 19 defense. Yeah, check it out. Special info, it transforms into Metal Zoa when strengthened with Metamorph. Yep. It can take a lot of power-ups, too. So, Fiend type, yeah, pretty good card, pretty good card. Uh, let's mix it up and let's switch to, uh... Oh, wait, I have a blue eyes in here? Huh, I don't remember having that. Uh, what was I using this deck for? Oh, 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 I see. I was using this deck to, uh... Probably to battle Weevil a lot. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and it is at 856, so... Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's mix it up. Let's take a little break from, uh... You know, the Fled deck. And, uh, let's go to Weevil here. And, uh... That should be the last duel of the episode. Unle unless we win, like, real, 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 real quick. So... Uh, Alright. Nice. And, yeah, in one more duel we can reincarnate, so... Wait, what? Exceeded deck. Oh, I need to reduce the deck cost by two. All right, all right, all right, all right, Weevil. My bad. Uh, reduce it by two. Well, this should be easy to do. Um, I could take out Queen's Double, but it is female. Let's take out Aquamador. Sure. And let's put in. Uh, I'm sure I got a good trap card here. It's pretty low deck cost. Uh, bear trap. Okay, it's ten. Do I have anything better? Uh, negate attack. Man eater bug is honestly kind of good in this deck, considering it's a forest deck. Um, what does this do? Oh. Okay. Ah, infinite dismissal of nothing else. Battle Warrior has an effect in this game. 500 point boost on battling like beast monsters. Oh man, that's gonna come up a lot. I didn't even know it had an effect in this game, that's funny. I probably checked it out when we first had it, but uh, yeah, we'll go with Bear Trap. Our, I've already got one uh, infinite uh, dismissal in this uh, deck, so Bear Trap. Bear Trap it is. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we will. Time to duel. No more delaying it, buddy. Yeah, and the duel might go pretty quick against him if we go got a lucky hand. So. Yeah, and we are major, right? Yeah, Aqua Dragon's major, so we can duel people with the major rank. Uh, bring it on, we 54 duels. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did have to duel him quite a bit just to uh, rank up, right? Right. It's crazy. After all those duels, I still don't think I have... There's still a few cards I'm missing from him. Believe it or not. So, alright. Aqua Drag. Go ahead. Uh, well, we can get rid of Forest here and uh, play Shield and Sword. I'm not even sure why that's in this deck, but uh, I'm sure there's a reason behind it. It's been a while since I've played this deck, so. Power increase. Yummy. 
Alright, well your first monster should be pretty weak on Weevil, so yep. say goodbye to Forrest. Alright. Wagar. Let's just attack. Oh, bro. Bro. <laughs> I forgot who I'm dealing with here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Good one. Good one, Iguan. Good one, Weevil. Good one. And he switched into defense mode. Wow. Based. Based. Um, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, huh. Let's just put this face down. Man, he got me with that uh, man bug. But the good part is, I think he has only two, so one's out of the way. So. Ah, uh, jeez, man. You got me with that one, Weevil. I must admit. You got me, buddy. Hmm. Well, we can use this to sort of defend. Yeah, if whatever he sends toward us is too powerful. Uh, the uh, crush card. Oh. Alright. Ah, maybe we should move. Oh, maybe we should get that to go into the crush terrain, huh? Wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Okay. Quagar. Okay. I'll tell you what. Weevil. Let's uh, do a double power up of our own here. Yeah. 3,400. Right. He does like this trap too. I I'm starting to remember your deck, Weevil. Mm -hmm. The things you like to do. Go ahead. All right. Got forced again. Uh, let's go for a triple power up. Let's get rid of force. Don't really need it, obviously, on this field. I can see the reason it's in here, though. In case I use this deck against other opponents. So. All right, Weevil. Uh, in my turn. Hercules, 3,900, baby. <laughs> it's like he was using Fury, Fury Swipes there. Got four hits. Guillotine! Yeah, see ya, buddy. Hey, man. Back time, man eater bug. <laughs> All right, a lot of damage there. Nice, twenty-four fifty. That's a good chunk of damage. All right, he used two power ups on this. Oh, it's Kamakiri man, huh? Uh, honestly, I would have preferred for this not to be Dark Plant because I could have attacked it back with my Quagar, but. Eh, it's fine. Our crush card will at least protect us in the meantime. Yeah. Sorry, Dark Plant. But thanks for your special ability, though. That I much appreciate. Uh -huh. Alright, buddy. Crush card time. And now, bye, Kamakiri Man. See you later. <laughs> now I feel pretty safe on this field. Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another Quagar. Uh, did I get anything for Cocoon of Evolution? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, we can make Cybersaurus, though. That's interesting. Um, yeah, tell you what. Let's make a Cybersaurus and put it in defense mode. Because uh, he powered up this thing, right? Mm, what? 
I think he did. Hey, let's leave it in. No, oh, yeah, let's leave it in defense. Yeah, let's leave it in defense. Maybe we can bait him to attack this and attack back with Quaker. Good call, good call. Or spider. Okay. All right, we can do a lot of damage to that with Quagar, so it's a good move. So, All right. okay, and we're at like 10 11, so we can keep recording for about 10 more minutes or so. Stream shot. Oh man, <laughs> I forgot how tiny uh, Hunter Spider is. Either that or Cybersaurus is huge, man. Look at that. Aw, oh, sorry, Cybersaurus. If we were on the wasteland field, this wouldn't happen, man. <laughs> yeah, do your flips, buddy. Okay. Right, right. And since he's got that there, ooh, yeah, we can win, but... Let's make sure he doesn't have block attack or uh, negate attack. So, play this over here. And we'll try to attack this. Oh, another one. Wow. Okay. Well, this is going to be deja vu. We're going to see Quagar Hercules attack twice. Well, actually, we're not going to... I'll show I'll show me killing one of the spiders, but you don't need to see, like, <laughs> deja vu. You know? Although, I guess his animation is pretty quick, so... See ya, hunt the spider. That's payback for my cybersaurus, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Down to 750, and this will do it. So, we win. I tell you what, we will show this one. I'll just, I'll just like get a drink here. spider in a row. That's probably a good call. Do, do, do. Um, oh! Wait, we have two ability slots with Aqua Dragon? I forgot all about that. Okay. Uh, let's try here. Okay, so Hunter Spider's on the top row. So we'll try to get it on the top row again. Um, Oh, I missed by one. Oh man, and they're inverted here. That's funny. Uh, I don't really know what we want on the last slot, so I guess like a power up, maybe. Huh. Oh, I missed it. But we got many air bug though, so uh, I don't know how many of those we have, but uh, yeah. alrighty. Thanks, Weevil. And we got the duel in in time, so that's good. All right, so we are at 85 total duels here. 83 wins, two losses, so, yep. Basically got to a reincarnation in this recording session. And like, that's, that's probably what I'll do for each recording session of this, you know. Just try to make it to the next reincarnation. Call it good. All right, so we got seven man eater bugs now. Uh, did I save before doing this? I think I did, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't hurt to save because uh, if we don't get anything too good from reincarnation, then I will like reset. So, uh, okay, let me take a look at my water deck here for a second because there are some cards that could help us, obviously. Um, let's see, okay, so we have um, how many dragons do we have in here? That's a good question. The two Komoris. Hmm. Oh, okay. So we just have the two Komori dragons? Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay. Alright. Um. And how many can I reach? Yeah, three. Okay. Um. Hmm. And we honestly could use some more dragons in this deck, really. Um. Uh, let's re reincarnate something around. Yeah, around like 19 deck cups. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, Blade 5, 18. Okay, maybe. Blade 5, yeah, because we got four of those, so... Uh... Kumotoko. Yeah, this card's pretty at yeah, around 21. Alright, yeah, let's reincarnate this. Let's see what we get. Mainly gonna try for some, like, a dragon or something. Or something good. Wait, is that Kaganingen? Oh, we might keep this one. Beast? Oh, yeah, we're definitely keeping this one. Beast Fangs? That's good. Huh. Wow, that's a pretty good reincarnation. And a Morphing Jar? Yeah, rocks are pretty good. Confusion. Okay, so I'll show you guys this. Yeah, Kage Ningen. Pretty good card in this game. Uh, this card's actually in the intro. Uh, it's the monster that uses Shadow Clone Jutsu, but uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, whatever damage is inflicted to life points of battle, damage is reduced to zero. We've seen this on other cards, the difference is with this. When this card's float face up, add a Kage Ningen face up, aka a copy of itself, in your own summoning area. So, yeah, pretty good card, honestly. Um, so, let's, uh, and Beast Fangs. Hmm. Okay, guys, well, that's basically it for this episode. I guess, uh,. Yeah, we got a pretty good reincarnation there. I guess, um... Oh, I could do this now. No. Yeah, let's just... Should I mess with the decks now or do it between episodes? Um... How many rocks do I have in this deck, actually? In my flood deck? Just two? Okay. Mm Maybe I'll add Morphing Jar, actually. Hmm... Morphing jar for what though? Hmm. Hmm. Do I honestly need the man-eater bugs in this deck? Not really. Hmm. But I have it deck house wise, so right now I can fight Rex. So here's the thing: is I would like Kageningen and. I think it would be best in this deck, in my flood deck, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I could probably put Beast Fangs in this deck. Because uh, this works on Beast, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. We'll put Beast Fangs in this deck. Uh, hmm. Let's take out, for this deck, let's just take out... Uh, Yeah, well, sure. Take that out for Beast Fangs. That's good. Um, do I have anything that fuses with Warriors in this deck? That's what I'm looking at. Not really. Very well. Good to know. Um, so, yeah. Nothing that fuses with Warriors in this deck either, right? But that's a female, so that doesn't really count. I mean, I can make Bean Soldier. Is that cool? Mm, maybe I sh No, let's put it in our main deck. Kage Ningen is actually really good. So, we'll get rid of... Man-Eater Bug? Do I want to get rid of Flame Sword? Probably, honestly. Uh, I might have just put it in here just to show its animation or something. But, uh... Get rid of that. Kage Minion? Morphing Jar. Okay. And if I want to change it back, I can change it back. So. Okay, dokie. Alright, guys. Well, thanks for joining me here for these three episodes of uh, Yu Gi Oh! I had to think about what game. Duel of the Roses, uh, the ranking challenge. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for now. Uh, yeah, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and all that. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in whatever we decide to record next. So, see you guys next time. All right. Y'all have a good day. Bye.